students, it's experiment time and today we are going to be performing the iodine test to detect the presence of starch. Now we know starch is a kind of carbohydrate and we use this test especially to detect the presence of carbohydrate in certain food items. So let's carry out this test. Now let's first understand what are all the ingredients that we would require to carry this. Now, since mainly we call this also as the iodine test, we would require iodine as you can see here. We will need a dropper to put the iodine solution. Now, I also have some samples with me. I have potato and I have sweet potato with me which are claimed to be rich sources of carbohydrates. Now, let's understand the science first before I go ahead with it. Now, we know that iodine that is there is normally a brownish colored liquid. So, if we zoom in closely, right, and if you look at the tube here, you see that it's a brownish color liquid. But when it reacts with starch, we see that it turns blue-black. So, this presence of blue-black will help us understand that, okay, starch is present in this particular sample. But of course, before I go ahead, we need to visualize this blue-black color. Which is why before we test on the food items, I have starch powder which I had dissolved in warm water and of course it would look something like this. So here as you can see, I have put it in the transparent beaker. And if you notice, it is having a whitish color that is there. Now what we are going to do is we are going to add a drop of star iodine to this. So our brownish color iodine, we will add to starch. I'm just adding one drop. And I'm going to mix it and voila, what do you observe? We see here that the whitish color that was there, right? And iodine that was brownish in color has now come together and they've given us a blue-black color. Which means that if starch is present, this is the color change that we would observe. Now, let's try the same with our food samples here. So first up, let's take potato. So if we look closely, we see that again, there is a whitish, if you observe, it's a yellowish, beige color that we observe. Now I'm going to take my iodine solution and I'm going to add one drop to it. Yes, so I'm adding a few drops and I'm scattering it over, right? And let's observe what we see. Now, right now, of course, we see that the brownish color is there. But if you look closely at the spots where I had initially added it, right, we see that it is slowly turning blue-black. Now, of course, this particular change will take some amount of time. But at the same time, if I take sweet potato sample, right, and I add the same drops to it, almost instantly we will observe a color change. Can you see that? Yes, can you see that immediately it has turned blue-black in color, while in potato sample it is taking a while, but nonetheless we are able to observe the blue-black color. This goes on to show that this blue-black color detects the presence of starch, and we can do this with the help of the iodine solution.